we're gonna we're going to we're sending back to Kentucky. I had thoughts last night of going on to to uh, Belmont right away, but I went in and sent him back to Kentucky, so we'll get him with his regular team, get him, go over him, watch him train a couple of days, and then make a decision. You're going to, in that respect, then, I mean, are you going to look for anything in particular before you decide whether he's going to go to the Belmont or just simply the, the health of the horse? Just the health of the horse. If he trains like he did coming out of the Derby, and, you know, it'll end, ultimately it'll be Mike's call, but, uh, but, I mean, he'll let me have a lot of input, I'm sure, and if he trains like he did, uh, going into the Derby, I don't know why we would pass. You mentioned yesterday that you thought actually his running style would actually be favorable for the Belmont. I always thought, and you know, back to the Woody Stevens said a long time ago that the Belmont's really a speed horse's race. A mile and a half is a grueling race, and they'll all be tired when they get to the eighth pole. <laughs> so it's better than 50 50, you think? You'd I, think be it's better, I think it's better than 50 50. The way he looked last night and the way he was feeling, and, and he ate up this morning, and, and uh, so hopefully it's better than 50-50. Think it'd be good for racing if he and Elm Kingdom got a, another little rematch. Yeah, it'd be great for if we could develop a little rivalry with some something inside the three-year-old division right now. It's like I said yesterday in the press conference. I think these three-year-olds are a lot better than people are giving them credit for, even without Uncle Mo. I mean, and when he gets back in the picture, I think this is a good group of horses.